We hear a lot about cursed films around horror productions. Crazy things that happen on the set of The Exorcist, or The Omen, or Poltergeist. When you're working intensively on a project, and something really anomalous occurs, it's tempting to say this project feels cursed. There was all of this information about the movie being cursed. And then you enter the internet into that and forget about it. There are rumors that they used real skeletons from India and it led to a curse. If you need skeletons to come out of a muddy pool, what do you do? Well, get some real ones, I guess. Our brains are designed to believe all sorts of things, whether they're poltergeists. There was a moment during production when their sets caught fire. Aliens and conspiracies. Gregory Peck was supposed to be on a flight that he canceled. The plane crashed and killed everyone on board. Angels and demons. The Antichrist would do everything not to have this picture made. For me, that was in one ear and out the other. It was the last night of shooting. It was the final scene with the rescue of the two children. Things are getting too close to the helicopter. And I turned around, I said, run. They do the shot, and then he drops down, and he didn't get up. I think it's easier for people to try to come up with some kind of conspiracy theory that helps justify why this person is suddenly gone. There has to be a reason for something terrible happening. That's the crux of all this cursed thinking. I think we bring on our own curses upon us. Otherwise, you have to believe that there are really demonic forces out there. <laughs>